what honey bear is running. We're freaking out stage bands, whiffing off Brawlhaven, Mammoth, and Demon. Pop or pick, we're going Mammoth. Mammoth is honestly the most best pick and most liked pick by every single competitor. As it's a flat map, you know, it got that one platform, but that platform is not too annoying compared to like, Three, you know, two, one, brawl. Enigma or Great Hall, where you have these platforms that are quite really annoying. That the platform mechanics aren't that great in this game. Honestly, like, they're a bit wacky, you cancel randomly, and it's annoying. Okay, now going into this match, you got the bow over into Gauntlet, Honey Bear doing quite damage and hurting me. Snares, Snares coming out. Spear, you know, Spear's best moves are definitely gonna be that Nair, that T Light, and that Snare. They cover so much range, they have so many counters to cover. And you can just throw out a neutral, that side sig coming out. Future bubble. I'm really putting in the work here. Down sigs as well. Really good neutral games. We can already see that this game was way more evenly matched than the last one. So this is expected to be a little bit more exciting. Kind of just dash dancing around, not looking for a kill option, that's there. Future bubble, okay, that got recovery taking him out from the sky. Quite an option there. Recovery. Bow strings getting started, that's the you like there, good old bull moves and that and sick and tie it. Must be quite an option. Covers so much area above you. It's really fast, it hits hard, but there's nothing wrong with it. Kai is not that pick though because well she has low strength and that could be a downside. That's the down heavy taking him out. Future bubbles truly ahead here. Making good work. Game. And no, this match is really closer than before. Getting this good conversion that side stick taking him up above. Close. Player one wins. And that's future bubble taking game one. Why is this match taking so long? Okay, I'm not sure which characters they selected into because he went so fast, but Pretty sure Future Bubble and OK, they're both staying on the same characters. Future Bubble still on the Kaya, and Honey Bear on the Wushong. Fun fact, that's the Rano Wushong, which is a crossover from Rivals of Vapor. And that is, in fact, Pearl from Steven Universe. Three, two, one, brawl! Alright, dashing in. Analyze the deal. Like. Like, 
trying to get through. Getting stuffed up by recovery and it's like barely connecting there. That's it. And like good to convert. Okay. Off stage. Got what you feel off stage. No coming back on stage with that nair. And that slide charge D stick hitting hard is not converting enough. There. Okay, off stage scenario. Oh gee, you're not muted. I can hear your keyboard, by the way. Oh, okay. Side sig. Nope. Side away barely not missing. Nails and stairs coming out from the throttles. Back into the stair rope. Do you like scare converting properly? That's a more GC gravity thing. Oh frick, not here. Ground pound coming out there. Weapon cost down. Stealing it out finally after he's so damaged. Finally taking out that stock. It's two two. It's two stocks of peace, but Honey Bear's quite damaged actually. Future bubble gets right conversion here. D sig. D D sig. Ooh, GC Nstig stealing out that stock from mid-air. Really dangerous play here from Future Bubble. Anyway, it's really coming in clutch when it comes to spacing out his bowling. You know, Future Bulb's really been throwing out these N6 a lot, but it's been hitting, so it's not a problem. And that's a GC down sig. Or a slide charge, rather. Because when you have momentum as a dash, you can actually slide charge your news, and that is an attempted punish, but missing the punish, missing the side light as well. Ryu, Ser, taking him off stage. Ground pound not connecting, that would have definitely sealed out that stock not connected. Is he gonna recover to catch the go high option? No, he's not. He's gonna end it there. Ser takes him out. That's one stock apiece, but Honey Bear is so damaged right now. I don't know if he can do it. Draw side heavy. He Player just takes him wins. out. Future Bubble going up 2 0. And now Future Bubble has taken the game. Future Bob will really be doing dealing damage out here. Now we're just waiting on our next. So Ethan and Radish coming up here, both of them really notable PR players in NA, fighting at winner's quarter final, just top before top 8. This match is really going to be incredible, as they've been, they're both really talented players. Ethan most likely going in with the Dottori, and Radish most likely going in with the, the Petra. We can see a lot of Spear versus... Versus Gotwitz gameplay here.